yeah my brothers and sisters on this i would like us to deliberate and talk on this and why always muslim that's the question why is there no christian terror group terrorizing any country to make them christians why are the muslims or the islamic you know jihadist terrorists and they're trying to force people into religion where well, that's the point have you ever thought about this that it that is always muslim for for uh, who fight the government just to create an islamic state wow because we have them as boko haram which is the western education is prohibited they said this is a christian that are you know bringing westernization to the northern part and they said a uh, islamic state of western african province what is their job what is their mission well let's deliberate okay for the fact that boko haram for instance a nigerian militant islamist group boko haram is fighting to overthrow the government and create an islamic state the group has caused havoc in nigeria through bombings killings abducting and attacking harmless citizens in the northeast right now the taliban have taken control of afghanistan almost 20 years after being ousted by a u.s-led military coalition they now control all key cities in the country including kabul they have renamed the country to Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan. Can you hear that? No difference between Boko Haram and Taliban. Both Islamic terror group has same agenda to overthrow the government and create an Islamic state. Taliban have succeeded in Afghanistan. It has always been Muslim, Muslim, Muslim. Why? Why always Muslims? Why is there no Christian terror group terrorizing any country to make them Christians? Well, I would like to hear you know your take from this from uh, what it has been said that why always muslim why is there no christian terrorizing you know the any country and making sure that they are christians well from the opinion of some people i'll be reading some suggestions yes according to nat says islam wants to rule the world there is no panic above that if it is the will of god none can stop it uh, he that is of the head is earthly. True Christians are not after becoming a king of this sinful world. Jesus says, My kingdom is not of this world. If it is happening, uh, God knows how to protect his own. There has been empires that worked against the people of God like Egyptian Empire, Babylonian Empire and the Roman Empire which crucified Jesus. God's people did not pick up arms against them, but proved the power of God. During such times, people like Moses, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, Daniel, Christ, and his apostles all served God during an opposing government, but fulfilled their call under such atmosphere. God still punished those satanic empires used to persecute his disciples, like Pharaoh, Nebuchadnezzar, etc. If it happens again, there is no panic. God still rules in the affairs of men. Their empire may usher in the Antichrist, but just because before then the rapture of the saints will have taken place and God will not subject his own to the tortures of the Antichrist. This is why everyone that have the desire to escape all this should examine his level of Christianity. Heaven is for the only, only ones. Sin cannot enter there. The grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men. Uh, this person is saying, read Titus 2.11. Repent and believe the gospel. Well, this person has spoken well. But the battle, like he said, is of the Lord. But let's come to think of it. <laughs> because this battle you are talking about is not a spiritual battle or a spiritual warfare. Uh, Pastor Adepharansi. And pastor of the house on the rock has said it that nigerians be you christian or muslim should have a plan b you know because the battle of the lord uh, is this particular battle from the book where i'm a taliban is a physical battle except you want god to come down and fight for you physically but notwithstanding uh, if truly you believe in god god will set up or raise people that can fight this injustice you know call islam terrorism like the Sunday go and Namdekano has stood up and risen up, you know, to fight for the uh, freedom of Nigerians. Be you a Christian or a Muslim, it does not really matter. Like I said, why is it that Muslims are the one, you know, perpetrating all these killings just to Islamize or to force people into a belief called religion? 
Well, yes, so the Almighty God Jehovah is using them. The evils to show his mighty work towards his sons and daughter. No one can defeat him. Yes, I know God is showing his mighty work. Even God or the Bible says faith and believe without works is death. So that's why I laid that emphasis that Pastor Paul at the Pharisee said we should have a plan B. The plan B had a whole lot of meanings that we should, you know, the weapon of our warfare is not carnal. You understand? As the Bible says it, you know, uh, and uh, we need to open our eyes as we even pray or as we have faith and we should walk towards, you know, disengaging this thought that God will help us. Definitely, with, with your, you know, step, make a step and pray that God should help. That is what I am really saying. Well, someone says Islam is riding its last trail. This is the way it started and that's why they are faking up arms again everywhere because their end is near. Well, God is going to use the nation of Israel to vanquish Islam and all other false religions before Christ will come to rapture the church and come back to rule from the temple uh, mount in Jerusalem as King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Well, these are opinions and comments from people. Yeah, before I'm going to release the line, let me just try and say this. The Islamic agenda, you know, from this jihadist group is not just Islamization only. Yes, they are Muslims. They are hiding in the cover of becoming a Muslim or telling, you know, the whole world that they are religious or religion and fanatics. But what I believe is that they are just pure terrorists. You understand? They are pure terrorists. So they are only disguising and hiding under Islam. And that is why they kept on brainwashing, brainwashing uh, until when they came down to um, uh, to the north, northern Nigeria, to brainwash the timid Aousas and the Fulani so that they can accept uh, the religion. And the religion they you know, brought to them uh, has been you know, mixed, I would say, misinterpreted to them because the Quran that they say this uh, the religion which is the Muslim religion and the Quran uh, the Bible uh, that they reach towards the uh, manufacturer manual which says it's a religion of peace and I wonder where they get the killing of uh, many people from you know to force people into Islam that is where the problem lies well um, Christians created terrorism from the West to fight Muslims the game turned against them now. The U.S. trained Osama bin Laden, etc. You know, uh, Thatcher confessed that Obama and herself created Al Qaeda. The weapons of mass destruction being used by the terrorists are produced and supplied by the Christians West for what use? For Tea Party. <laughs> this is what the person is saying. U.S. They say when Usman Danfodio was fighting his way to defeat the people of Benin, was Obama present by then? Hmm, that's another question asked, you know, to this uh, effect that Christians were the ones that started. Just see the way you are confusing yourself. Thatcher was already on a wheelchair when Obama became president in 2009, while Osama bin Laden's Al-Qaeda are carried out their terrorist attack on the WTC Twin Towers in September 2001. 2001. I don't know how you connected the late Margaret Thatcher and Barack Obama who are of different generations together with Osama Bin Laden. Maybe you also forgot that it was Obama that organized, watched and ensured that Bin Laden was caught and arrested, killed and buried under the sea. Please next time come with facts to support your uh, postulation. Well, I believe the uh, person you know that says the Christian created terrorism is a you know foolish Fulani person. That's how they create war. If that this person that replied him does not have the knowledge of how Thatcher or the coloration between Thatcher uh, and uh, Barack Obama, a fight would have ensued. Yes, fight would have ensued, and that's the way they misinterpreted the Quran. Well, I'll leave you in the hands of the comment section. I'd like you to, you know, relate. Let's deliberate on this. Thanks for listening.